everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy because my close friend Ali and I went to Palm Springs during the final weeks of summer and we went thrift shopping and we had some cool outings and dinners. Keep watching for our vlog of Palm Springs and stay tuned because I'm having Aliyah come on here with me to talk about the story of the week. We're gonna have a haul for you and I am so excited. So let's get on into this. The product of the week is from a thrift store that Aliyah and I went to when we were in Palm Springs. It's called Thriftology. I have been wanting these cute little pastel scrunchies that I've been seeing everywhere on Pinterest and Instagram and so I just thought that these were perfect and I found them at Thriftology. There were so many different colors. I'm very excited to try these out in my hair. So I got the pink one, the green one, and the lavender one, and also a blue one. They're super cute and super stylish and I'm just in love with them. If you were ever in Palm Springs, go to Thriftology. It is the cutest store. The quote of the week is by Karen McKenna and it says, don't confuse being busy with being productive. I'm on the move to Ohio and there's so many things going on so I have to make sure I'm balancing everything and creating a strict schedule when I'm gonna work out, when I'm gonna go to my classes, online school, and but also throwing in video editing in there and creating content and seeing my family friends in Ohio on top of that being socially distant so it's really um, a lot to balance and I'm making sure that I'm using my time productively instead of just being busy and throwing things in there. And I can't wait to share with you guys another updated video of how I am balancing and um, the day in the life of me in Ohio. So that is the quote of the week and I just wanted to share with you a little bit of how I felt about that quote and why it resonates with me so much right now because it is very relevant in my life right now. I have my friend Aliyah here to actually join us for yeah. story of the week. One of the nights that we were in downtown we decided to try this really cool place called Lou. California Bistro. It was a really, really good dinner. Um, and afterwards, dessert time, we were watching these kids who were sitting across from us eat this like giant cotton candy in like a martini glass. And Ava and I were saying how cool it would be for us to have that, except yeah. we knew that we wouldn't be able to finish it. Yeah. And we just didn't want to waste the cotton candy. So we were like, okay, it's fine. I was like, oh, wow. Like, that'd be so cool to have so we can to like show record it. that yeah. content. Our waitress comes out with another cotton Giant, candy in yeah. the martini glass. And we were like, oh my gosh, like, who's getting that now? I know, yeah. And the next thing we know, she's walking over to our table and I'm like, Wait. She was like, oh, this is compliments of the manager. We had such a great experience too, at Lulu's. Yeah. The food was amazing. The setting was beautiful. That was our story of the week. We are going to have a little haul for you today of the stuff that we got at all the thrift stores. So stay tuned to see our little haul. <laughs> Ali and I made it to our first thrift store called Revivals in downtown Palm Springs, so we will let you know what we find. Yeah.
haul for you today of the stuff that we got. The first thing that I picked up was from Revivals. This super cute <laughs> teacup. Like, that's so cute. Yeah. Something that I got from Revivals was this really cool book called A Lesson Before Dying by Ernest Gaines. I just got a feeling that I should buy it and read it and find out what my lesson should be before <laughs> I die. The next item I picked up was from Revivals as well. It's this... <laughs> This record, um, Fiddler on the Roof. Fiddler on the Roof has always been a family favorite of ours. The next thing that I got at the antique shop are these two really cool vintage posters. Cool, like, kind of those, like, political cartoons that you would see, like, in a social studies textbook at school. Oh, yeah. I also got a photo album because I just thought this was super cute and vintage looking. Okay, so the last purchase that I was extremely proud about, this vintage telephone. Look how cute this is. I am obsessed. Like, hello? Like, I just... <laughs> I love it. At Revivals, Ava and I went through a lot of the clothes there and actually found a lot of cool stuff. Ava pointed out to me was this really cool shirt from Turks and Caicos and it's just like you went. <laughs> it's like I went to Turks and Caicos and on the back it's this really cute shark and it says like working on my bad reputation. I think that's so funny. I've worn it already and it's super comfortable. Um, yeah. The last thing I got was this really cool, um, oh my god, Stanford rugby shirt. I just love college t-shirts yeah, yeah. and I also told Ava that I'd probably crop it because it was way too big on me. The first shirt that I got, um, I'm actually wearing. I got this really cool 80s <laughs> shirt, um, from the men's section of Revivals. It's so cool. I'm obsessed with it. It's the coolest shirt I think I own. Cannot wait to wear this in Ohio. I think it'll be really yeah, fun. fun. I also got this sweater. Um, it is so cool. I When I saw it, I was like, wow, I love the pattern. I love the color. It was made in Italy, and I think that's also part Very of the cool. reason I was like, that's so sick. I just cannot wait to wear this during sweater weather in Ohio. Thank you so much for tuning into our haul. Thank you so much, Aaliyah, for joining me on my channel today. Thank you for taking me to Palm Springs of with course. you. Stay tuned if you want to see more adventures.